Okay, everybody, uh, this is Aaron Bonner again. Uh, my last video, I showed you guys some of the piston creations that I had made, and I did end up getting a couple of requests to do a couple of tutorials. Um, both the retractable drawbridge and my bat cave uh, were both requested as tutorials. I'd be more than happy to do those for you. This first one that I'm going to show you guys, let me load my world here, is going to be how to make uh, the drawbridge. So you're going to need, of course, a whole bunch of redstone, uh, some redstone repeaters, redstone torches, and sticky pistons. Um, so go ahead and start ma uh, making the uh, basic outline of our bridge here, uh, just like I'm doing here. Anyway, um, we're going to make our drawbridge three long at this point. You can actually daisy chain these together pretty much however long that you can afford to wire it. Um, it's pretty simple uh, once you... Oops once you kinda get it down here. Um, and again, this is now only my second video, so I apologize if it's not very good. Um, like I said, any criticism that you guys may have, I'm more than happy to hear it. Uh, now let me kind of explain what I'm doing here. What you want to do is you're going to hollow out a little ledge underneath the lower level of pistons. Go ahead and put redstone torches there. And then you're going to make um, a little bit more of an area in behind it here. Uh, and the reason why is now we're going to lay down six redstone repeaters. And the reason six, um, because redstone repeaters, in addition to acting basically like, oh, um, well, they, they, they act like timers, basically. Each notch is uh, a tenth of a second delay. Um, and I, I like having lots of them in my system just because uh, it's, it's easier to, to work the delays that way. Um, and then now, whoops, I skipped a step here. What you're going to do is you're going to make a real basic redstone inverter down here. Um, you do just like I did. Stick the torch on the edge there. It should be fine. Um, and now we basically go repeat what we just did on the other side here. So I'll dig this out. Make a big old gap here. Lay down some redstone torches. Redstone repeaters. Six again. Get the torch out of the way. I'm sorry if that's a little bit dark for you guys. I'll try to keep this as well lit as I can. And then, whoops, of course, now I have to break out the one that I just put down. I'm just going to fill this in for kind of continuity's sake here. Um, and you can use switches, you can use uh, pressure plates, you can use buttons, you can use pretty much whatever. I just prefer switches because they provide a, a constant source of power here. Alright, and so now, really quick, we're just going to test it. We're going to flip the switch. And... Something is going on here. Let's see. Oh, derp. Might help if I actually connected it, right? Okay. Uh, now what we're going to do is uh, add... Whoops. Uh, nine blocks to your lower level of pistons to make a kind of a shelf like that. And do the same thing on this side. One, two, three, so on and so forth. Okay, now what you're going to do is a similar design to down below. You're going to need six redstone repeaters for each side. I know, that's that's a lot. Um, if, if you don't have resources for this, I apologize. Uh, mine is is not necessarily the most efficient model uh, that's out there. But this this is how I did it. Um, it's, it's really all up to you how you guys do it. Uh, yeah. Okay, anyway, so there's those six, and then, uh, like you saw me just do, wire it down below um, using some sort of stepping stone or whatever. Um, really, ideally, if you were to build this, it would be, uh, of course, buried into the ground, uh, and you could it would be a whole lot easier to, to wire stuff like this, because obviously it would all be underneath. Cool. Uh, the timing's a little bit off. We're going to tweak that in a little bit. Uh, now what we have to do is probably the most difficult difficult part of this. If I could talk, pardon my lack of English today. Um, and it, it's really not even that difficult. What you're going to want to do is clear out one layer underneath, uh, just like I've done here, underneath the lower level of pistons. And then uh, what you'll do is you'll put six redstone torches down here. Okay, and then... Um, I just kind of dig around it so I've got a little bit of room to work. You guys can do whatever you'd like. Um, of course, like I said, if, if this was an actual drawbridge, it would be underground or, you know, surrounded by something else. So it's it's all up to you. This is just kind of the, the very basic model. 
Okay, uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to dig down uh, two, two layers on each of the sides here, and then just a little step on each end so that we can hop out. So there's one, two, one, two, one, and two. And a little step to hop out. Okay, and then uh, now what we're going to do is you're going to clear out a layer underneath these guys. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, and then again, uh, we're going to put redstone torches down here. Oops, and I have run out. Uh, let me pause this really quick. I will be right back. Okay, um, I'm back. Whoops. I apologize about that. I uh, obviously didn't count my resources before I started. And uh, for those of you who have not seen my first video, yes, I realize that I have some impossible items in my inventory. Um, I do use Invedit on this file only, I promise. Um, this is just kind of my play file. I, I uh, just build on it is really all I do. I play for the most part on Peaceful on this file and um, just kind of build some buildings. If you haven't seen my first video, uh, I'll go ahead and link it here. Um, and please go check it out. Like I said, I, I appreciate everybody's input, feedback. I don't care whether it's positive or negative. Um, I, I really do appreciate all of it. Um, anyway, so down here we are going to basically do the same setup as uh, upstairs, as it were. Go ahead and make a, a quick inverter uh, along with the repeaters here so that it switches those guys off. Um, and again, I just kind of bust out another layer here, so I've got a little bit of room to work. And like I said earlier, I apologize if this isn't the greatest video you've ever seen in your life. Uh, this, like I said, is, is my, my first time. Um, I am a little bit inexperienced still, uh, as I'm sure many of you can tell. Um, anyway, and so wire these together, and so you should have a setup that looks basically like this. All right, and then go ahead, and we're going to bring it up. Whoops, I wired it to the wrong side. Huh. That's completely my fault. Um, here, let me fix this really quick. I will be right back. Okay, um, really quick, uh, I really do apologize about that. While you guys are gone, um, I fixed my mistake. I kind of wired it to all go to this side. Um, I meant it to all go to the side of the switch here. And I'll show you real briefly what I've done. Is I've dug underneath the switch um, so that that block will be powered when the switch is turned. Um, and then I basically, I, I took the wiring that you guys saw just a, a second ago, and I just flipped it 180 uh, across my little doohickey here. Um, and so now, basically, what we want to do is we want to set this up so that, let me look at it, whoops, I guess I wired this backwards, where we actually do not need uh, the redstone inverters here. Again, I apologize about that. Uh, we're going to hop back up to the top here and kind of get this figured out, because now, there we go. All right, so there's the basic mechanism, but now, as you can see, the timing needs to be tweaked. Um, I usually start with uh, a full delay on one of the uh, redstone repeaters to begin with, and then I kind of build it from there. Um, like I mentioned earlier, each of the repeaters is a tenth of a second delay, um, and so if, if you had two of them that were completely delayed, and then one of them like that. Uh, that would actually be one full second uh, that they were delayed. Just kind of random trivia for you if you didn't know that there. Um, and then also, if you have redstone inverters in your system, that also delays it by one-tenth of a second. Okay, so there's the fully engaged. There we go. Um, like I said, the timing is not that beautiful on this right now. You guys can adjust that yourself. Uh, that's why, like I said, I, I build all sorts of redstone repeaters into my system. Um, and then this is all just obviously the exposed kind of machinery here. Uh, if you cover it all up, it starts to look a little bit more like the drawbridge that I had shown you guys, where it deploys out and up like that. Um, so, I mean, you could build this into the ground. You could build it uh, as a bridge kind of like that. Uh, I mean, you could do any number of things with this. Um, yeah. Anyway, so that is my first tutorial here, the retractable drawbridge. Um, like I said, guys, any questions, comments, anything, whether it's positive, negative, constructive, anything, uh, I would love to hear it. Like I said, if any of you guys want to see a tour of my world, I'd be more than glad to do that. Um, I did get a couple of requests to uh, make my world a downloadable link. Um, I'd be happy to do that if that's what you guys want. I'd be more than happy to link that in the description here. Um, like I said, anything that you guys want to see, anything that you have to say, love to hear it.